Welcome back to Car Chat TV, and we are in the Amoda E5, another Chinese electric vehicle. And so we're really, we're super interested to see what it's like. It's actually got a BYD blade battery in it, which is I think 61.4 kilowatt hours, and you're looking around 257 miles of range. And so far, we've got these two screens that are linked. Just got to concentrate to make sure I know. Oh, that's a, an interesting indicator noise there, isn't it? I want to see what this electric vehicle is like in terms of power. So at the moment, it says I've got 71% battery. I love the miles per hour. That's really cool. That's nice and big on the left. I'm just having a little look here. Uh, I think we're good. Right, let's give it a little bit of a blast. Oh, it struggled for traction there. And now we're good. All right, okay. That's not, and that's 70, that's 70. Now when I lift off, I can see the regen on the power side saying minus 19% power. And you've actually got a little bit of touch screen on the digital uh, cluster here as well. Right in the corner, you've got your lighting and the sort of volume up and down. And that's, I haven't seen that, I think, where you've got touch elements on the actual instrument cluster, which is different. We've got a mode button here on the Emoda E5. Wow, that's loud, that's normal. That's sport, look at that! That's more like it, way. I've never seen, look at that, it's like a computer game. All right, let's see what this thing's like doing 100. All right, flat, foot flat to the floor. Steering is nice and light, let me tell you. So we're in sport mode, foot is flat. It's taken a while to get to 100, and there we go, there's 100 in sport mode. There's a little bit of wind noise. Again, it is windy here today. That is a bit annoying. No wonder you've got these, these sound touch buttons on the right because if the if the indicator is there we go you can turn it up and down you don't normally get that option to turn your indicator noise up and down i don't think i've have you seen that in the car okay so i've got adam with me in the back of this Amoda e5 i want him to talk to me about comfort levels adam okay so i want to give you my sort of first impressions in the back here and first impressions of the Amoda. i've just jumped in the back straight away and i found it's quite cramped in the back here my knee room my knees are already touching the seat and the seat might be a bit further back but realistically it's enough room for the passenger in the front so yeah cramped knee room headroom i haven't got loads of it it's, it's okay it's okay but i just feel a little bit claustrophobic in here the back there's like not much visibility in the back here the boot looks quite small back there and you can see i've got my camera stuff You've got heated seat options down here. I'm not sure if you can see, um, but there's a USB type A and C there, which is nice. And I found this seat in front, it's just like blocking my view quite a lot. So I can't really see much of the, the front passenger, like interior, that sort of thing. The sunroof up here is really small. Um, so I'm not sure why that's so small. And so yeah, overall fairly cramped in here and yeah. Not much really to talk about. Let's talk about how the Emoda 5 handles. So far, I've got it in eco mode. We had a little look on the speed route, eco, normal, and sport mode. So I might just try to gauge the differences. It's so minimal, you know, of the steering. Like sport is a lot more responsive. I've got to say, suspension levels are doing really well. I have not felt, here we go, lumps and bumps. And these quite these are quite severe to be fair these things they've got a millbrook and they don't they don't feel too bad on my on my bottom and the pickup's good putting you for oh it struggles for traction Whoa, this front wheel drive i tell you what just put your foot down then it just started to wheel spin while we're, while we're going about 20 miles an hour okay so this is a nice swooping curve little bit of body roll we're not going too fast but overall, it, it can handle it. For, for families and people that just want to chill, this car is really smooth, very smooth, and the steering is, is nice and light, and you can switch up through those modes. And even in this eco mode, when you put your foot down, it just, you, did you see that? Can you just hear the, that's, that's a bit, I don't know if that's gonna start to get annoying on the roads, just when you maybe want to do a bit of an overtake put your foot down it's going to struggle for that traction I'm just going to try and do it coming out of this corner yeah can you hear my goodness cool and i'm not going too fast 
I'm only going about 40, 45 miles an hour now. But every now and again, when you do just put your foot down flat, but I'm, I'm impressed, you know, China's coming in with all their different brands and models now, and this Amoda borrows the blade battery from BYD, I said at the start. I think infotainment is okay. I've played around with it a little bit. There is some regen braking because there's no paddles on this and you have to go through the infotainment. There's three different settings to change your, your regen. I love these roads. These roads are brilliant. There's lumps and bumps everywhere. But the car does feel smooth. I would say that. It does feel smooth. I think this is going to start from around 33,500. Okay, so we're going to jump into the Emodo now. Is that what it's called? The Emodo E5. The Emoto E5, and I'm going to show you the interior because it's quite an interesting place. This is a brand new car, and I, I feel like it's not even out yet because I can't find it anywhere online. Yeah. So me and Ollie have been quite excited to get our hands on it because it's just, it's just new and it's Chinese. Look at that! So, get that in there. I've just seen let, that. I'm going to show you around. Hang on. Oh. Look at that. that just, I know. That just came up. This is what Chinese gives you. We just drove on the road. We saw it struggled for traction a little bit, but look at this. They got loads of bits going on. They got like wood veneer. Kind of lamination here, I don't know if that's it's probably yeah, not this, real. This wood, you can get your fist in there. You've got two yeah. cup holders here. Is this a wireless phone wireless charger? Wireless phone charger. That's quite nice. You can cover this whole thing up so it looks quite neat. Look at the material on the on the speaker over there. Look at that. It's like a Let's go out chrome. here. We've got some shiny chrome speakers. So I don't know how I feel about this wood, but this is okay. I don't mind this. I feel like it's not too futuristic, but it's not it's it's up and down as well, which is kind of like so instead of going across. Whilst Ollie's playing with that, I'm going to show you down here. So we've got some storage down here with USBs and stuff, which is quite nice. It's quite a big cavity down here, actually. And let me talk to you about these seats because they're quite comfortable, but they're quite big. So they're like quite, I don't know, they take up a lot of space in the cabin. But it's quite a small car. It's all than I thought. It is, it is quite small. You've got, look, that's a fancy button there, which is quite cool to press. Oh, and then, oh, you hit oh, the camera. Oh, I hit your tip, sorry. And then, Jesus, look at that cavity. That's quite big, isn't it? That's huge. That's bigger than anything I've seen. Do you know what I've just noticed, which is what? a bit... Look at this, right? So there's no regen paddles, right? No regen paddles. And you drive mode, your gear selector's on the right. But you have to go to, to change your regen, you literally have to go to this button there. Oh, it's a bit. New energy app. So that's our percentage. And then go to charge settings. Cancel. Go to here, other settings, energy recovery level, low, medium, or high. That's a little bit annoying to have to keep going and change your energy recovery rather than having flappy paddles to go through and get it there. It, it's just a little bit, it's a bit long. It's a bit long. Let's check out the boot space in the Amoda E5. It's pretty small, isn't it? 292 litres of boot space, but it's usable. You can knock the back seats down if you really need extra space, but this car has got something that no other car has got. Do you want to see what it is? A real spare tyre. No brand gives you a spare tyre. It's normally like a £300 option or something. You've actually got a spare tyre down there, so you've got to be happy with that, surely. I haven't seen that I can't remember last time I haven't seen that. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Okay, let's get out and see what the exterior of this car is like. Let me just adjust you a little bit. Okay, so what's your first impressions of the outside of this car, Oliver? I, do you know what? I, I'm not a big fan, or I don't think you need a massive name on the front of your car. I think if you got rid of that, it would look a lot better. I don't need a massive name on there, but it's very smooth. It reminds me of the Nissan Aria. I'm getting that Nissan Aria vibe. I can see an Aria vibe. Can you? Yeah. Yeah, do you know what I mean? I, look, this, this light is pretty cool. It's very sleek. And look, it's even got LED vision on there. I think the front looks pretty cool. Very smooth. You've got these little creases that kick in here on the bonnet and they look great. I quite like going, the lights and everything. I think it looks quite smart. I don't it's hate it. Well. This is cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's I'm, cool. I think, the side. I, think, I think people are going to find it attractive. I'm not sure about the toothpaste blue. Um, these wheels are alright as well, to be fair. 18 inch rims, plastic inserts in there. But oh, overall, decent. Look at it's this. quite a small yeah. car. I feel like it's smaller than you think. Yeah, but when I come to the back, I see Aria again. I see a little bit of Aria in there. I think it's it's not a terrible looking car. It no. sort of looks like a VW uh, at the back here. But anyway, the back looks quite good. Um, Chunky light. 
I've got a little bit of a spoiler here, look. It is good. That would be cool. cool. Yeah, I think. Very nice. It's so cool. I've, I've so far, oh look, you've got a little bit of, look. Look. Carbon fibre. Wow. Carson's flyers down there. So wait for all, guys. I mean, you'd have to let us know what you think. Is this a car? If you're looking for an electric vehicle, let us know. Is this something you like the look of? I think the front's probably the best for me. So that has been our first impressions on the Emoda E5 here in the UK at the SMMT test day. I'd love to know what you think about the car. Is it something that you would go for or test drive? Let us know in the comments below. We've spoken about how it drives, some of the cool features of the car. As always, if you like the episode, throw us a like, get subbed to Car Chat TV, and we will see you on the next one. If you've made it this far, thank you ever so much for watching. I've just popped up two more videos on your screen that you also may like. If you do watch one, let me know what you think.